And if you know how this whole wonderful, blessed, anointed, chock full of talent, this church called Hillsong, what makes it tick? It's found in this series. I mean, Brian is so transparent. I understand you, you preach this from your, your staff meetings. And so many uh, personal sharing, little insights, great teaching on leadership. Actually, it's got nothing to do with the book of Psalms. He takes a verse and then he preaches whatever he wants to preach. <laughs> All right? But it's a, it's a series on leadership and pastors and leaders. I highly recommend this series. All right? Praise the Lord. You ready for the word? I believe I have a prophetic word from the Lord for you tonight. It's a prophetic word. It is on the Benjamin generation. You know, the book of Genesis. Yeah, they are here tonight. The Benjamin generation. The young generation. You know, God put it in my heart before I came for this conference that tonight he wants me to share this prophetic word during a time of famine when God releases Benjamin before Joseph, there'll be bread in the land. There'll be revelation, there'll be health and healing flowing in the house of God. Hallelujah. Because the Benjamin generation is here. And Joseph said to his brothers, there'll be no more bread until Benjamin stands before me. Now the book of Revelation is the seed plot of the Bible. In fact, God hides the future in the book of Genesis. You're going to see what's going to happen in the future. In fact, the days we are living in, you can see it in the book of Genesis. I'm glad that you don't belong to the ten. You are the Benjamin generation. And this morning when Joyce was particularly emphasizing on the young generation, it was followed up by Bobby during your session. You mentioned that as well. It's like God saying to me, and then Brian was standing down here talking about World Youth Day. And for the first time, I realized, man, God is telling me, this is the prophetic message. The Benjamin generation is indeed here. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf, in the morning devouring the prey, and at evening dividing the spoil. And I get fears when, when people attack the flock. Amen. If you are a shepherd, feed. Don't be a wolf.